Sir Arthur Conan Doyle was a famous British writer. Conan Doyle was born on the 22nd of May, 1859. He was born in Edinburgh, Scotland. He was the second of ten children. He trained as a doctor at the University of Edinburgh's medical school. Conan Doyle saw that his teacher, Dr. Joseph Bell, was very clever at deducing his patients' illnesses by noticing every tiny detail. Conan Doyle used this mastery of diagnostic deduction to create his most famous literary character, Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes first appeared in A Study in Scarlet, a short story published in 1887. Sherlock Holmes is a detective. He's famous for his excellent observation skills and deductive reasoning. Holmes is very modest about his amazing abilities. He often says that they are elementary. He often explains to his friend, Dr. John H. Watson, how he has reached his conclusions. When you've excluded the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. Conan Doyle grew tired of Sherlock Holmes and tried to kill off the character in 1893 in the story the final problem. Public pressure forced Conan Doyle to bring Holmes back to life in the 1902 story, The Adventure of the Empty House. Conan Doyle was knighted in 1902 for his work as a doctor during the Second South African Boer War. The Adventure of the Starry Night Tent Camping Stove Compass Hiking Boots Sleeping Bag Rucksack The Adventure Sherlock Holmes and his friend, Dr. Watson, decided to go on a hiking trip. The journey they had decided upon would take them three days. At night, they would camp under the stars in their tent. They carried their rucksacks, sleeping bags, tent, camping stove and provisions on their backs. They wore rugged hiking boots and navigated by compass and map. At the end of the first day, Holmes identified a suitable camping site. We'll pitch our tents here, said Holmes. The trees will give us shelter and that stream will provide us with water. In the middle of the night, Holmes awoke, cold and shivering. He looked up at the stars above him, sighed, and shook Watson awake. What do you make of that, Watson? Holmes pointed up at the bright band of stars twinkling overhead. 
Watson rubbed his eyes sleepily and looked up at the heavens. At last, an opportunity for Watson to show that he was just as good as Holmes at drawing conclusions from the smallest of details. From the millions of stars I see twinkling in the heavens, I deduce that the whole of humanity and the planet we live on is nothing but a speck of dust orbiting a small star on the edge of an insignificant galaxy. Out there lies an infinity of possibility. And you, Holmes, what do you deduce? It's elementary, my dear Watson, said Holmes. Somebody has stolen the tent. <laughs> Sir Arthur Conan Doyle died on July the 7th, 1930. Sherlock Holmes lives on as one of the most enduring characters in English fiction.